Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Said, and today I'm back with a new video about the Metroid and I have new information for you. How we can be sure if we have a rock and, a, and we think it's a Metroid? What test we must do? Alright, in this video I want to tell you one by one all the tests if you do this test on your rock you can be sure it's a meteorite or a, a wrong meteorite and alright let's go to the disk the first test you must do on your rock is magnetism the magnetism is, is a majority test in, in our list and the majority of meteorites are magnetic if your specimen isn't magnetic alright that's not it probably isn't a meteorite because the all the all type of meteorite just for little must move the, the magnet all right and another test in our list is a strict test this scratch your specimen on a um, ceramic tile or something like that we said a stony meteorite typically won't leave a stick strict mark on the ceramic or anything like that if streak is black or gray your sample is likely magnetic yeah magnetic if it if, if it is a red or brown streak you probably have a hematite and it's not a meteorite and another test in our list is nickel test run a chemical test for nickel if the um, proportion of the nickel is inside the range for meteorites you may have a meteorite and congratulations another test is about the weight test the meteorites are much more dense than normal earth rock and regular rock because they are so heavy if you um, hold the meteorite on your hand and, <coughs> and push it up you can feel so heavy and so dense if it's dense you can be sure it's probably be, be a meteorite all right the another test is fusion crust test the fusion crust is a is a thin dark uh, ring formed on a meteorite as it is through through our atmosphere it does not mm, occur on earth rocks and will disappear over the time due to the weathering but it can be seen on some fresh meteorites if you find some fresh absolutely the absence of, of a fusion cross does not mean a specimen is not a meteorite another it's an it the, the next test is it's a not it's not a test it's a sign on your right break my lips break my lips in actually and regmaglips it is regmaglips also known as a um, thumb print are unique to meteorite they are overall depression found on many meteorites the absence of regmaglips does not mean a specimen is not a meteorite of course and final test in our list is the windows test the, what is the window test one of the last tests um, to perform create a small window to see inside if you can see shiny metal flakes you may have have a meteorite if the inside does not have shiny metal flakes and instead is plain you probably don't have a meteorite and is there actually it's not any test be uh, like this uh, I tell you in this video because the all test for the for you can be sure it's a meteorite or not this is all this video is just about the test and nothing else but uh, I must tell you again uh, passing a test there is not a guarantee that a specimen is a meteorite remember this right passing a test there is not guarantee that 
AS Bismen is a meteorite. You must um, sh show your rod to the expert man who is in who this job is about meteorite. And the final idea is his idea. Okay, thank you for watching this video and see you next time in next video. Bye.